Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac is now available to the public and it's got a lot of cool new features. It's extremely useful because it lets you run Windows and other operating systems on your Mac with features that let you interact between the operating systems efficiently. I'm Jason Parker for CNET and today I'll be looking at Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac. In the new Parallels, even the little things were made easier. The launcher window lets you drag and drop ISO files or disk images, like a Windows installer, right into the interface to start installation. You also have a selection to choose modern IE test environments, Chrome OS, Ubuntu Linux, Android OS, and more. I'm going to use Windows 8.1 in this demo. In this latest version of Parallels Desktop, when you start an installation, you can configure Parallels to give you the optimal experience depending on what you want to use the OS for. Whether you choose productivity, games only, design, or software development, Parallels will customize the install to give you the best experience. When you start a virtual machine, it loads up just as it would on a Windows desktop. Once you're all loaded up, you can use Windows in its own window for easy access to Mac files, or you can switch to full screen to get the full experience. Running in Parallels coherence mode is not new in this version, but lets you use both operating systems in a more seamless fashion. In coherence mode, you'll notice my Mac desktop in the background, but that I'm running Gmail in Windows 8.1 in a window. With coherence mode, I can treat the Windows app as a regular app on my Mac. For example, I can compose an email in Gmail, then drag and drop an image from my Mac desktop directly into the email in Windows. The latest Parallels also lets you use Mac services from within Windows. You'll notice in a Documents window in Windows 8.1, you can see folders for Dropbox, iCloud, and PhotoStream, but they point to each of those services on my Mac. You'll also be able to use other Mac services. Here, I can right-click a file in the Windows environment, choose Share On, and you can see Mac selections in the context menu. From here, I can choose to send an email using my Mac email client, and it will automatically switch back to my Mac, open email, then attach the file. With Parallels, you also can interact in the other direction. For my Mac desktop, I can right-click on a file from the Finder. At the bottom of the contextual menu, I can choose Reveal in Windows to open it directly within the Windows environment. Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac is available now for $79.99 or as an upgrade for $49.99. You'll have to wait to use some of the new features until Yosemite and iOS 8 become available this fall, but even without them, Parallels is easier to use in this version, offering more ways to seamlessly switch between operating systems. I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this has been a first look at Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac. Thanks for watching.